the new Jerusalem. There is a new Jerusalem that's going to come down on the earth. It's going to be a city, and you'll be outside of it, but no abominations will be allowed in the new Jerusalem. An abomination is someone who did not pour out their blood. Jesus poured out every drop of his blood. There is a weight that's coming down right now. I feel it. We had a, uh, the Lord told me he was going to show up Saturday, and he showed up. And I watched the people in the congregation. I watched their eyes roll back in their head. And you heard me. I said, I come against that evil spirit right now in Jesus' name. I was driving down the road today, and God said that wasn't an evil spirit. That was me. It is not a hookah booka, jika jika, all the heebie jeebies on your neck and all that. This is a weight. I'm telling you, I feel it coming down right now. Press, people. The disciples went to sleep. Jesus said to them in the Garden of Gethsemane, which is the olive press, he said to them, he said, the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. He said, pray that you do not enter into temptation. And they fell asleep twice. Don't fall asleep. Press. I looked behind me yesterday. I didn't see many people coming. And I'm sitting here on my hands and knees crawling. I cannot make a move. I am trying, y'all. I'm telling you, this is a weight like you've never, ever. I don't know if you felt it before, but I've never felt it before. It's not the heebie-jeebies, Holy Spirit. It is a weight. It is a darkness. It is a hard-pressing thing that he wants you to press through. And if you don't, you don't get on the other side. So stay with me. The woman is the weaker side because what happened was in the growth process, the man had to be willing to die to self despite being weak. The woman was given to man. The woman is the weaker side. That's the soul versus the spirit. It has nothing to do with my gender. It says in the Bible, it says those who are baptized in Christ are neither male nor female. I am baptized in Christ. To reach full potential, though, Adam was required to die to self, overcoming temptation with the weaker side. Let me show you this another way. Matthew 4, 1 through 2. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he then became hungry. He had to be tempted during the weakness of his fasting. Ever wonder why Jesus had to fast for 40 days? And when he came out of the wilderness, what is the first thing he said? He said, the kingdom of heaven has come. He overcame the devil in the spiritual realm. You have to have that power in the spiritual realm to, to bring the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is here, but it has to be birthed with that kind of power, that kingdom of heaven power. He did it. He overcame. The only one that could. He overcame the devil, but he did it after he, while he fasted, while he was weak. He had to have the weaker side because we know that he wasn't born of a man's seed. That's what makes us weak. That's what makes us vulnerable. That's where those sins pull at us. That's why we grow up and we don't know that we have a heavenly father until we get saved. We don't come into this world knowing that Jesus loves us. We were supposed to, but because of man's seed, your father's seed that passed on from generation to generation, you were born with spirits. And those spirits have to come out. When you get a new spirit because you're saved, that doesn't mean you're done. That doesn't mean Jesus is going to hand everything over to you because you said a nice little prayer. That means you started the process. That's the spirit. Now the soul, all the tears have to come out. That's all that mindset. You know, when you're, when you're alone and you start hearing these thoughts and fear comes up and, and worry and all that stuff, you haven't overcome. Because your soul, your, your weak part is pulling at you. And then the body. So the spirit has to be saved. The soul is being saved. And there will come a part where we are going to be tabernacling. God is going to tabernacle with us. He who dwells, he who tabernacles in the secret place of the Most High God. That word is tabernacle. And there's a feast of tabernacles where the Father is going to inhabit the body. And we will be immortal. Don't be offended. Adam was until he fell. 
immortality. That's the promise. That's oneness. You're not vulnerable anymore in your soul. I don't know what that looks like. I haven't gotten that far. All I know is I'm pressing. I want to know, and I'm pressing. But everything's coming against me that keeps me from knowing that. But the Bible says in many places, the immortal will, will put on, I'm sorry, the mortal will put on the immortal. And there's many more scriptures that talk about immortality. But the point is, is that Jesus was weakened during his fasting. He could have gone through the devil temptation no problem had he not been fasting for 40 days. I I've, I've fasted for 30, and it was hard. I, I did not, I did not, I drank, but I did not eat. And I had like, I mean, it was hard. It was really, really hard because our flesh is weak. I can't imagine 40. I can't imagine it. It really was hard to get past 30. But you don't, you don't go, hey, God, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. You know, I want power now. That's not how it works. You fast so that you can line yourself up with the power. The fasting doesn't give you a ticket to have power. It's not about all that. But we'll talk about that another day. But I wanted you to see he was weak because of his fasting. After this, he began his ministry and went out to conquer the world back for his father. All he said was, my father, my father. My father told me this. My father told me that I'm here to reveal to you who my father is. Because we didn't know. Right? So he came out of that thing to conquer the world back for his father. And we've talked about the kingdom of heaven once again is the power that he gave us in the spiritual realm. He gave us the keys to the kingdom of heaven, right? So if without those keys, we could not bind or loose. We have to have the power of the kingdom of heaven to birth the kingdom of God. Where's the kingdom of God? Inside of true believers. And what ha how does it come out? It has to be birth. It will go through growing, it'll go through pains. Birth pains, okay? And those are not pleasant. But you have to what? Push! 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 And that's what I'm doing. The serpent directly attacked the female, not the male. God allowed this because it was the plan. Human beings have to die to self-will. Even when tempted from our weak side. Man's complaint when God confronted him... And the woman said, I mean, and the man said, the woman you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. Wait, we know that. He blamed God and the woman. He didn't take responsibility. And God's, God must have said, okay, well, fine, you can die for her if you want to bring her back because she was separated. She was separated. Death means if you eat of this tree, you're going to die. And he, she was separated from God. But just like Jesus, he could have died for her and brought her back, and he was not willing. That's why the Bible says there's a last Adam. And he was a life-giving spirit, and the Bible says that Adam was a life-taking soul because he hearkened to the voice of his wife. You, you look at the curse. It says because you hearkened to the voice of your wife. Doesn't mean the women are bad. It means the soul. You wanted to be with your wife in the soul more than you wanted to die for her in the spirit. It was his plan. Jesus' plan to die for us from the foundation of the world. So it wasn't about whether Adam ate of that tree or not. He knew he was going to. And he knew he had a plan for him to go through. You have to lay down your life. He wasn't willing to do it. So he wasn't willing to die for her his weaker side, to be restored. We wouldn't have to go through all this, the soul-ruled world, if he would have done that. We talked about it before. An animal has a body and a soul. A human has a body, a soul, and a spirit. An angel has just a spirit. Okay? So animals, I'm sorry, angels are spirits. There's no soul there. They're not vulnerable. Okay, watch this. This is God's plan for us.